Hey, what's up guys? This is Astronox Showcase of Kiron in Champion League. Let me show you his stats and his gear. The team at the table is the one I'm going to be using. Fire Shuri, I might be replacing him with uh, other heroes. If I replace him, I'll show you the stats and the gear of those heroes throughout the video. Okay, so let's start it off here with uh, Kiron. He is not at plus 15 skill ups. I need more, more Lagora, but at least I got S3 maxed out and I got S1. Well, I'm missing 15% damage here and if you're noticing here, the soul burn effect is on skill number one. And this skill one, if you have a buff, because of the passive here, you will be uh, attacking everyone. So you can deal, you can cleave with this hero. And uh, I could open up against the enemy team with double lots and just push his combat unit to 100% twice and just try to cleave them, cleave their whole team. So I might be putting that to the test. If I'm going to be doing that, I'm going to be uh, using a different exclusive equipment on him. This one is to boost the damage of his skill number three by 10%. And he has one that increases the damage of skill one by 10%. So it really depends where you want your damage to come from. The most, the multiplier on skill three is not the highest. So if you're trying to, you know, squeeze that extra bit of damage to land that kill, because that's quite important. Uh, well, you should use this exclusive equi equipment right here. And he's got the silence for one turn here for his skill three. And I would use this on a fast setup, uh, but I I'm building him slow for now with high critical hit damage and high attack just to try to deal as much damage as possible. Having him on immunity set is the best uh, setup for him. And uh, for the, the four piece set, I mean, it really depends. I mean, you could have him on speed, you could have him on you know, double crit, uh, you could have him on destruction. There, there's multiple ways to build your K-Ron. And uh, I'm going to be trying him on Wind Rider. So I'm killing with skill three, and then I get that 45% attack increase passive, which stacks with attack buff. And uh, yeah, that skill one is going to be dealing extra damage, and I'm going to be soul, burn or soul burning skill number one. So that's his stats, over 4,400 attack, 340% critical hit damage. His speed is low, 135 only. But that's okay. His uh, survivability, his stats, you know, health and defense are not so high. But it's okay because he can actually, like, if they, like, sort of, like, kill him, right? He will not die. He will stay at one health. And he will get this buff right here, immortality. And you can skill this to lower the, the cooldown from nine to, uh, to uh, what is it, six turns. So that's pretty nice, but uh, I would say that's the last thing you want to skill up on Kron. And uh, I have his memory imprint unlocked because I pulled for a second Kron. I wanted to get that extra bit of damage. I figured like, I, I know I'm gonna be using Kron. I finally have him after two years, but yeah, now it's time to showcase him, man. It's time, so fire Shuri. That's his stats. He's slow, you know, on decent critical hit damage. He's on the, uh, you know, gear from the Labyrinth. And that, that, that can roll very well. And mine actually rolled pretty well. I mean, uh, for uh, offensive power, yeah, pretty sweet. So that is my Fire Shuri. I'm using him mostly for the 14 speed memory imprint. He can deal damage. And if I land for every kill, like, I, I will be boosting the combat shittiness of my team. So that's pretty solid right there and who else do we have we have you know auxiliary lots which is on 279 speed and uh yeah i actually increased his speed yesterday and uh that's pretty nice it's pretty nice so i'll be climbing in the uh, world arena in not too long since it's a new season i can finally do it it's not the pre-season so he's on tagil's ancient book so i can get souls to soulburn s1 of uh, Kron. And uh, it, it's about this. I mean, if you're a new player, you don't understand what's going on here. It's about skill two on uh, this auxiliary loss, which is a four star dark mage. He's a mage. He can carry this. He can have souls at the start of the battle for soul burning. And the skill two gives 100% combat shootiness to the hero of your choosing. And you get the attack buff that increases your attack by 50%. And you got memory imprint. Um, to increase the attack of uh, top and front position heroes, 10.2% uh, at triple S. 
And I mean, that's an amazing hero. Pulling this hero early on makes your life so much uh, easier in PvP. You put a bunch of speed to Gil's Ancient Book Artifact and you're pretty much set. So Green Lots uh, does push the combat units by 100% as well. He, uh, he heals, his memory imprint is different here. It's a uh, dual attack. It's not as powerful as uh, Auxiliary Lots because he's not a mage. He cannot wear Tagil's Ancient Book and his base speed is actually not so high. So uh, it, it's harder to increase his speed to very high levels. But yeah, 254 speed on green lots. And uh, I do use him in uh, uh, water expedition as well. Okay, let's go in arena and see how K-Rod performs. I can't wait to try him out. I'll be switching artifacts. Let me talk about artifacts real quick. Like, yes, you can use Wind Rider. Uh, What's most popular on Kiron is Eliha's Knife. Eliha's Knife is an artifact that deals damage. Uh, you know, you penetrate 20% of the target's defense if they are not at maximum health. So you need to deal some damage before uh, hitting with your hero wearing this Eliha's Knife. But if you want to squeeze that extra bit of damage on that skill number 3 and you can soften the enemy, then uh, wear Eliha's Knife on Kiron. It really depends on your setup if you're going first and you want as much damage as possible just use portrait of the saviors and uh, that's that's the best if you want to deal as much damage as possible and you couldn't reduce the health of the enemy team before dealing your damage but eliha's knife will be dealing more damage against tankier uh, heroes uh, that have that are stacking defense to high levels so uh, yeah, I'm gonna be trying out Wind Rider, which is definitely not an artifact that you see often used on Kron, guys. I, it's just I, I'm trying this, man. Like double lots is a lot of fun, and I want to put it to good use. And another artifact that is very well quite popular on Kron is Dust Devil, and this allows you to attack again with your skill one, 30% chance. And imagine if you're buffed and you're attacking everyone. Triggering this and attacking another time with uh, an attack that hits everyone is very very dangerous And you got the soul burn on skill one as well And if I'm if I'm going for uh, Skill one soul burn twice. I'm gonna be wearing dust devil if you if I want to go crazy So if you feel lucky you go with this if you want the guaranteed damage Maybe you go with portrait of the saviors or you go with Elias knife if you can deal damage to the enemy team before but anyways let's do the showcase let me test him in arena uh it's gonna be a lot of fun i know this hero is very powerful so let's go baby i'm going first so that's good the issue here is that look at this there's the Zergil bazaar going first so if i take him out maybe i cannot take this uh this bazaar and he's going to be crippling, you know, removing my buffs. But let's try it out. Let's try it out. So, the damage on skill 3 is not super crazy. I definitely want to try Soul Burn skill 1 with the Dust Devil. That sounds like a lot of fun. But first, let's just test out his damage. There's Barrier. They have Aureus. So, this Bazaar could survive this damage. I don't have a Soul Burn to increase the damage of this thing. Let's see what we can do here. But, but... I could go for Desertal Bazaar, or I could go for Bazaar. So, yeah, the smarter play is to go for Bazaar here, because if he cripples us, it's over. Is this going to be enough damage? 15.7 thousand after barrier. Uh, the barrier was fairly thick. Maybe that's like 19k damage. So let's go here. I have Wind Rider. It's activated. I have attack buff. And now we can Soul Burn skill 1. I'm missing 15% damage. And I don't have the exclusive equipment to increase the Void Slash damage. Because we need that extra bit of damage on skill 3 to land the kill on, on someone. So let's see what kind of damage we can do here. Oh. Okay, I didn't, I, I didn't take out Arbiter. <clears throat> okay, so... Uh, I don't have him on immunity, and I feel like I should have him on immunity because if he receives decreased hit chance, then that's bad. And I didn't land any kill, which means I couldn't get, you know, I couldn't get Wind Rider to trigger. So it's, it's not uh, a setup, you know, Wind Rider artifact is not something too good for him. I feel like it's a meme build, but I want to try it, nonetheless. 
I definitely should have him on immunity. Now here I could soul burn. You know what? Uh, let's just do it. Let's just push the uh, the CR of the team. And I need to deal with immunity. And uh, you know what? Let's uh, just pop. Oh, Arbiter is far behind. Let's not attack Arbiter. Let's wait it out just a bit. And now I'm ready to go, right? Maybe attack break here. Never mind. He's uh, He has immunity. Okay, so he's going to trigger here. And uh, we're okay. We didn't get triggered. Now we still have the immortality. And that's a great strength of Kron. You can do some pretty crazy stuff because of that. Wind Rider. We have Wind Rider, but we have the decrease hit chance, man. Oh god. Come on, man. Land it. Oh, of course. Because he's Moonlight Dreamblade plus decrease hit chance. Do attack! Oh my god, Oxlot's too quick. It's okay, it's okay. This is a messy one, guys. Just bear with me here. Okay, immunity set. Um, the issue is that I'm going twice because of double lots. So, yeah, I land the kill and ex I extend the duration of the immunity set, but that doesn't work. Because after the next attack, I will lose the immunity set anyways. But if I do land the kill on Arbiter, he comes back. I still have the immunity. I'm immune to, uh, you know, the decrease hit chance debuff. If there's some Elbrus triggering, some counter set, you know, instead of, uh, so I don't get provoked. But it doesn't even matter because I want to use skill one. But if I get provoked, that means I cannot soul burn skill one. So there's that to keep in mind as well. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so... Now, I got Clary with super high speed. I'll show you the gear at the end of the video. I've been doing some gear swapping. And Kron is not on a slow build anymore. He's, uh, he's on a fast build. As you notice here with his speed. Okay. This worked. So now, I'm going to have a tag buff and everything. I have Portrait on him. Not that he has Knife. Not any other artifact. Because I want to have as much damage as possible. I don't know how much he's going to be doing. But he doesn't have as much attack and crit damage as before. But this should be really high because defense break is just crazy. So let's see here. 22,000. It's not as high as I, was, as I was thinking. So, man, that's with all the setup. Attack buff, defense break, only 22,000. Definitely not a hero to just do a bunch of one-shots. Oh, we got the defense break on, uh, on Arbiter here. Okay. Can we can we win this though? Like I, I didn't bring any sustain. Let's see. So uh yeah, I'm uh, going for the soul burn here. Oh boy, not bad. Not bad. Now the door attack will happen with uh I think it's happening with Seaside, unfortunately, with the decrease hit chance. Rip. Okay, I think she got a crit there. Not bad with the baiting. Because uh, Sinful is at the lowest HP threshold. I can now clean up. Damage definitely not crazy with uh, the stats that I have now. But seems to be working out. It's a different playstyle. Most K runs are built, uh, you know, on the slower side. Mine's at 227 speed, and uh, yeah, that's that's kind of overkill. You want him on immunity. You want him to be slower so he can have more attack and crit damage, so you can make sure he lands the the one uh, one shot with the skill uh, three. But you need to have Eliha's knife and someone to damage uh, the enemy team first before you do that. If you really want to uh, increase your chance to land the one shot. Portrait of the Saviors this time. I have him for uh, damage on skill 1 with his exclusive equipment. So I hope this is enough to actually take out this bazaar. Really hope it's enough. If not, well, should have had the skill 3 exclusive equipment. 
Whatever, let's see. I feel pretty confident that I can pull it off. Uh, oh boy, it, it seems to be really close. Seems to have been really, really close. Okay, let's start it off here with... Uh, uh, it should deal some damage. Oh, got lucky on Revenant Vala. This actually landed. Bye bye, Fire Sherry. You've done nothing. Well, he helped with the speed memory imprint. Now, this is. Uh, this might be rough. I don't. I don't have enough souls because Sherry didn't go. I will not have enough souls. Okay. I, I want to as a uh, soul burn the S3 and to S2 to push care on ahead, but it's not happening. Let's just deal with uh, the skill nullifiers here. Okay, the miss on care on that's uh, that's good. Oh, she hurts. She hurts pretty badly. So since he's so slow. We'll push him. It's okay, we'll be able to push him twice. Portrait is not active on everyone. And... Uh, well, let's just attack uh, Alencia here. Okay, push him again. Attack buff. Soul burn, let's go. Come on, yeah! That's a lot of damage. Oh boy, oh boy. He gets triggered right now. Ten point two K decrease hit chance. I'm gonna lap him, it's okay. Let Kiron go first. He is evading one hundred percent. He is. Uh, I I go as uh, three here. Because the crease hit chance on myself plus the evasion buff on himself. Okay, that's it. Even on a miss. And uh, I would have been able to uh, S2 Oxlot, so give him another turn anyways. And he wouldn't trigger Massacre, so that's good. Well, it worked out. We got lucky. Uh, the evade of uh, Alencia S3 on Kiron was actually very helpful, though, on that one. Okay, we outsped Bazaar. Great, there is no Knight with Aureus, no Fawn Cecilia for Barrier. Should be easy to take him out. I have the damage uh, increase of skill 1 with his exclusive equipment, so it's good. Uh, the damage is about, you know, soul burning skill 1 afterward. But first, take out Bazaar. Shouldn't be hard. Yeah, he's on Portrait of the Saviors, by the way. Okay, and now for the big damage. Let's, uh, let's push him again. Maybe I get Lucky versus uh, Remnant Violet. Kind of numbers we're going to be seeing here. Oh my god! 17,000 on Charles. 15k on Arbiter, was it? That was pretty intense. He didn't get triggered here. Let's actually uh, push the team, get some healing going. Uh, he, uh, my green lots is on Maghara's tome, so he's uh, cycling pretty fast when he's using non-attack skills. And here, I'm just gonna actually, I don't know if that's such a good idea, giving, uh, you know, I don't really like that. Let's just, just work on Charles. Oh, okay, I see how it is. Thankfully, he has a decreased hit chance on himself, but didn't matter for skill 2. And here, I, I have to try to land a crit somewhere. Oh my god, no crit. Okay, thank you. That's, uh... That's good. Because <laughs> he can't go down, but now he got his, uh... Yeah, he got it to trigger his, uh... Immortality. 
He's about to go, and he has attack buff, so I don't need to uh, push him. Not yet, anyways. And I could, I could push Fire Shuri now, or or save it. Yeah, but I mean, that that's a lot of damage coming uh, from them if I don't deal with uh, these heroes. Oh my God! Okay, Fire Shuri. Uh, OP confirmed. I mean, we know that he's really good. Now it's. Uh, I mean, I'll have it. Oh my God. Let's just deal damage. It's gonna evade. He's gonna evade it. Like, I know that. But it's not bad, the damage. 7.3k. And uh, give him another turn. Fire Shuri you can actually do it, but it's not the showcase of Fire Shuri. No, I don't have the Soul Burn of Scale 1. God. It's okay. Even if he goes down, we still have Fire Shuri. Oh, we have. We just got some souls. There we go. Okay, it worked. It worked. I would definitely love to have a long immunity on him, uh, but I have to outspeed Bazaars with, uh, you know, Fire Shuri. I, I should probably put Wondrous Potion Vial on green lots, but then he's not going to be cycling as fast, and some team I fight, uh, I prefer to have the, the CR of Magihara's Tome, though. Okay, good. They're not that fast, so I can actually... Defense break and two care on S3. Good, good. And, uh, well, he says she can help with the cleanup phase. So, who do I want to uh, pop first? Well, uh, Charles, a uh, pretty good uh, chance that I can uh, take him out. So, I'm going to be uh, going for him. And I'll be doing extra damage, elemental advantage. Got the defense break, good. So it's really important that you land that kill with S3. When you have an immunity set especially, which is the way to go on Kiron. Come on. Wow, 32,000 now. That other battle, uh, there was an Aureus and Fawn Cecilia, or was it? Okay. Um, I don't have the souls for a soul burn and to S1 uh, against ML Ken. Clary might get uh, provoked by Lilius actually. Let's increase her cooldown. Hopefully, it doesn't get resisted. And it worked, okay. 18,000. Elemental advantage too. So, let's uh, attack Maid now. Oh, rip's done. Now, I can lower health. But what about saving, saving the souls for uh, Kisei S1? She, uh, she doesn't have Wind Rider. She's on Wind Rider. That's not going to work. Whatever. Yeah, damage is quite low. Got triggered now. Let's... Uh, Let's finish this Lilius. Yeah. Hmm. Now I have the Wind Rider. Now I have it. But I don't have the souls. But it's okay. I can. Uh, I can do it. I'm still stealthed, actually. Uh, let, let's just go with the S2. That's it. It's over. Boom. She's not even on a slow build anymore. Okay, well, this seemed more like a uh, Kise showcase. But, I mean, you can see Kira did a lot of damage too. Um, so, different ways to go about building Kira. I'd like to showcase him uh, using different setups in the future as well. But, uh, yeah, I mean, he's definitely a very versatile hero. He's such a strong hero, though, like that... That immortality is, is huge, the extension of buff, like, so, so good. So, my quick review of Kiron after using him with uh, different 
team compositions. I actually recorded the Guild War video already, so I can give you guys my uh, my input on uh, K-Ron. So the gear that I'm using the, at the end of the video is uh, him with uh, 227 speed. You know, the attack and crit damage, not as high as uh, what I had at the start of the video using double lots, but if you have a hero, let's say like I'm using Falconer Clurry for defense breaking, and then I use skill three against that target. That works, that works, but I feel like the skill three damage is not that high like I've been talking about. So don't rely on him for one-shotting tanky heroes. It's just, it's not gonna happen unless you apply defense break. And even if you do apply defense break, if the team has Aureus, uh, Adam and Shield, uh, while well, Barrier would be removed, but let's say it didn't get stripped. All these things, man, like it's gonna make it really hard for you, especially if they have, well, even if they have high defense, uh, even if it gets reduced by 70%, if they have very high defense, like they can definitely survive. You cannot just take out anyone, even if you have attack buff on him and defense break, unless he's built slow, but then like, uh, I just wouldn't rely on this hero for landing one shots. He's great against like, you know, you bring him versus like a, a cleave team or a speed team. And yes, he's gonna be able to one shot a squishy hero, no problem. You can have him with these stats and he doesn't even need a defense break on the, uh, the enemy team. If you have a hero that deals damage to the enemy team first, uh, you can activate his Aliha's knife and then he's gonna be able to deal extra damage with uh, this uh, artifact if the targets have uh, a high amount of defense. So I feel like most of the damage comes from skill one. I'm missing 15% damage from the skill up. Soul burn only 10 souls, that's very nice. And throughout the fight, he can do some really crazy amount of damage with this skill one and the decreased hit chance is pretty sweet as well if you're running him on moonlight dream blade well uh, it will stack so 20 percent evasion from moonlight dream blade or uh, from his artifact plus the uh, decreased hit chance debuff then that's going to be really great shepherd of the hollow i didn't use it in actually uh, in arena in this video uh, i used it in the guild war video to be honest like you need to make sure he drops uh, low health, maybe you're baiting the enemy team, you're using stealth heroes, so they, they're forced to attack him. Uh, you're using Shooting Star Akates to, uh, you know, get his uh, immortality to last three more turns with two random uh, buffs. Uh, Shooting Star Akates is very, very strong with him. I feel like he should be used more, uh, not in a speed team, uh, to one-shot or cleave the enemy team, which you can do it, especially if you have defense break applied on the enemy team, you know, almost any hero can cleave with defense break with attack buff on themselves with the right setup with the right gear but his multiplier is not there for landing one shots on skill three versus tank your heroes it's not going to be reliable it's not like my sid my sid he multiplies his damage from the crazy multiplier on his skill three he's got the soul burn that boosts the damage he uh, gets more damage from the his speed stat as well and he's at elemental advantage when he has speed buff like it's not even close he's got 10 speed he get an extra turn he can take out two heroes potentially uh, and he's only a four-star hero Kron's about you know uh, you cannot kill him so you have to take that uh, you have to use that and you have to have immunity and you have to extend that with uh, with this skill it extends the buff duration on himself and then you start to just clean up the enemy team with uh, these skill ones you can be using dust devil if you feel lucky but I don't rely, I don't like to rely on uh, something that is luck based like this. I tried it, didn't work. Uh, well, you need to just be lucky and 30% chance to me is not good enough. But yes, you can have some pretty nice moments, some comebacks, you know, uh, in, in, in PvP arena, world arena, guild wars. You can definitely have a lot of fun with Dust Devil, but I, I want something that is reliable, which is why I don't uh, like it personally. Uh, and yes, his artifact uh, would be good, but you need to make sure that he's going to drop low. If you're going for pure damage, Eliha's Knife if you're dealing damage to their team, or Portrait of the Saviors if you want to just have that damage no matter what. At the start, if they're unharmed, it, you will deal that extra damage. And uh, yes, you can land some kill, but not versus tanky heroes. So the stats of the heroes that I brought along are as follow here. Um, Seaside Bellona here. 
And I shown the stat of Shuri already uh, when I was using him at the start to outspeed enemy team. Uh, I don't, did I use Fallen Sister? I don't remember, but that's her, uh, her stats. And of course, uh, well, Sinful Angelica here. And Falconer Cleary, 276 speed. I drop great speed on her with uh, as much effectiveness as possible. And that's what I was able to get. Her survivability is not so high. But yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with uh, Faulkner Cleary. It's just uh, the five turn cooldown is quite rough on this. But still, uh, you can guarantee a kill at the start of the battle. And that's really powerful. My Oxlots lost some speeds. So I have different gear in my green lots now. I had to swap gear only to 37 speed. But uh, yeah, Shooting Star Akata is such a great partner with K-Ron. You can, you can duo teams, man, in World Arena, in Arena, in Guild Wars with uh, these two heroes and that's very good uh, i mean the three turn immortality if he's uh, if the target is alive which i mean kron will be unless he got unable to be buff debuff even if you do have that maybe one just potion vial can save you maybe you cleanse first balance health and then you s2 or uh you can even soul burn this and to this i mean you've got some uh, some great options and uh, it's definitely a lot of fun so um yeah, that's my review of K-Ron. Let me know what you think about this hero in the comment section. Uh, do you have him or maybe you want him? You definitely need quite a bit of gear to make this hero work. Uh, it's not as easy as Arbiter Vildred. You just slap some gear. He's going to go down and come back, deal some damage. You can build him slow and uh, not have to worry about uh, about it too much. But K-Ron is, uh, is quite stat hungry because if you don't land the one shot with skill three, man, it's going to go real bad for you. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Astrox. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. Press the bell icon if you like to be notified whenever I release a new video. And check out my other videos. They should be showing up on the screen now. I got uh, content for PvE and PvP, Arena, Guild Wars, Guide Sips and Autos, and Abyssal Rogue 62, as well as best starter guides for my Ultimate Game players. Uh, join my Discord, over 2,000 members. Uh, check, out my, check my second YouTube channel. The link is in the description uh, of the video, the pinned comment, and it's on the screen right now, actually. Uh, you can press on the eye at the top right of the screen uh, as well. Check my playlist. I've been advertising in my, uh, my second YouTube channel for Epic 7. But that's really it for this one. Good luck with all you do. I'm Astronox. Peace out for now.